I expected to send it back when I went to, through the training and probably the, by the time I did my first couple of post-ops I was already scheduling people out more than six months because I knew I was keeping it just based on the original healing. I was getting as good or better results than I got with any traditional periodontal therapy I'd ever done. Uh, next patient is Kathy. Um, she came in with a loose tooth and she was recommended for extraction of possibly two teeth or one tooth in the front because of this loose tooth. She was a little bit hesitant with going with an implant because the front area in the lower jaw is extremely difficult to do implant therapy because there's no implant that is going to fit you precisely because tooth is so small. So we said, you know what, why don't we try this laser therapy again? And guess what? When I saw her for the follow-up, the bone was growing back. And then now, instead of talking about having one or two implant, which is extremely invasive and also costly, um, we're, we totally save these teeth. Well, Lynette, having demonstrated histologically that we can get true regeneration around teeth make, makes a big difference to me. And this approach, while it seems to be able to provide the same potential for regenerating tissue around teeth with far less discomfort to our patients. So it's been a 180 as far as ha being able to still obtain the results, the excellent results from the LePet protocol, but without having to put them through an invasive, painful procedure. It's overly met my expectations. Some of the regeneration that we have seen, um, the bone around dental implants has just been absolutely amazing. So the patient was referred to us specifically seeking LePet therapy. Uh, the patient was an engineer of all things, so very detail-oriented, knew exactly what he wanted and had already done the, the research about the laser. So he looked us up to seek out lipip therapy. The patient presented with localized gingival inflammation and exudate on probing and some tenderness on probing as well uh, and radiographic bone loss around the area about halfway down the implant. The implant was placed four to five years ago, and the patient didn't want to lose the implant or go through another surgery to have the implant removed. The implant was a cement retained restoration, so we opted to keep the implant in place during lipid therapy. And as you'll see in the radiographs, we have increased radiopacity around that implant and decreased gingival inflammation, and we also got some tissue shrinkage around that area, so the tissue is tightening up and just presented as healthy, firm coral pink tissue around the implant and including the other tissue in the lower right quadrant. At this point, we have remarkable uh, bony regeneration around that implant and the prognosis has improved from questionable to good long-term prognosis. The patient acceptance and um, just post-op discomfort is minimal, patient acceptance is high, and I think the main goal for me is to have people get their, their parentitis treated. So that is, it's been huge for, for that goal. Or the Lanap procedure has been a game changer for my patients. There's minimal to no discomfort or swelling associated with it. People can go home, they can go to work the next day. Typically they'll take an ibuprofen, maybe a Tylenol, and they're fine. The most important part of purchasing the Periolase is the fact that the training is included. When you have an opportunity to learn things hands-on, it's a phenomenal experience. It's not like you're going back home and you're trying to figure it out for yourself. This is one of the few programs that I've been to where you actually go back and your laser is there waiting for you and you have the opportunity to use the perio laser exactly the way you were trained to use it. I wouldn't hesitate for a second to offer this to my patients. I think it is as or more effective than any other form of periodontal therapy that I've rendered in the past. I love it. I absolutely love it.